Welcome back to Dateline on ID. I'm Lester Holt. Police had charged Gary Hilton with the murder of Meredith Emerson. Now investigators were about to hear about Meredith's last terrifying moments. As it turns out, her family and friends were right. She fought hard for her life. Once again, Dennis Murphy. In your decades of law enforcement agent, have you ever had a session of interviews like this one? No. No, he was very uh, straightforward and was very nonchalant about the whole thing. So you get down to the point where, well, it was like Meredith. I had $40 money and several days food. I was going to have to kill somebody in that, in that period of time. After his initial confession, Gary Hilton, the man of stony silence, became a chatterbox, spilling out a story that sickened detectives who thought they'd heard everything. He began with Meredith's abduction here on a hiking trail on Blood Mountain. He said that he ambushed Meredith and her dog Ella as she came down the trail. It was a struggle, and Meredith, with her martial arts skills, as Hilton tells it, very nearly got the better of him. Twice she disarmed him, first taking away his knife and then his police baton. I lost control of both of them, uh, both the knife and the bat. She was real quick with her hands and had no hesitation about grabbing weapons and everything. And not only that, uh, she was hard to subdue. Uh, it's fought like hell, man. Hilton said they scrapped so hard they tumbled off the trail. Separated by a few yards now from that dropped police baton and Meredith's water bottles, the dog's leash. Objects, importantly, very soon to be recovered. Meredith, meanwhile, kept right on Hilton. Start fighting again. And I had to fight her again for several minutes. And her dealing that is what got me caught. Because if I'd, if I'd been back uh, to the uh, crime scene uh, just a few minutes sooner, just several minutes sooner, I would have beat those people that found the bat and I would have I picked it up. He talks about fighting yep. with Meredith, mm -hmm. that she almost took him. I don't really believe everything that he says, but that part I believe. There's no doubt that she fought. And, you know, maybe it's a little bit that kind of gives you a little smirk to know that, you know, she almost, she almost got him. She gave him a run for his money, and I'm sure that he may have thought I should have maybe chosen somebody else. Eventually, Hilton wore Meredith down. By then, they were way off the main trail. Hilton tied his captive to a tree and then doubled back to that site where he'd been stripped of his weapons. The bayonet was gone, lost on the forest floor, and a hiker had already picked up the police baton. Hilton returned to Meredith. And I told her that I had a gun and that, you know, I was going to shoot her ass now. Skirting the main trail, Hilton led Meredith back to his van in the trailhead parking area. There, he secured her with chains in the back of his vehicle and then proceeded to steal her bank cards from beneath the front seat of her car. Hilton drove off, heading 12 miles north to an ATM in Blairsville, Georgia. He told detectives Meredith had given him her PIN numbers back on Blood Mountain. Did Meredith suspect it would be all over for her if she gave him the correct numbers? In any case, she'd given him bad information. And it didn't work. None of it worked. She's still telling me it's, it's going to work. It's going to work. It must be at Wallen Bank. Hilton next tried to use Meredith's cards at a bank 50 miles south in Gainesville, Georgia. Again, no dice. He made camp that night with his captive in a remote spot in the forest. The next morning, Hilton attempted to use Meredith's bank card still again at an ATM in Canton, Georgia. Nothing. They returned to his hidden campsite. He held Meredith all together in the woods for four days. And what nature of man is Gary Hilton? Well, listen to the confession tapes to what he says about Meredith's dog, Ella. Hilton says he knew the pet had that identifying chip when he let the dog go in the supermarket parking lot. If I wanted to ensure that no one would associate the dog with her, I would have killed the dog. Right. But there's no way I could do that. He was too much of a softy to kill the dog, as he explained it. But poor Meredith, Ella's owner, never had a chance. Right, whether she was doing from the beginning. Right. Yeah, she was. Right. She was because I just told you, once you've done it, you're either going to kill her or get caught. There's, there's no other solution. And, and that sounds cold and cruel. Yeah, it was. In his unbelievably cold recollection of the crime, Hilton said he told Meredith he was going to let her go after four days of captivity. We're packing up and telling her I'm taking her and I'm going to release her. 